Um, welcome. We did Poems and Pies um, about two or three years ago. So we haven't done it for a few years, and because of the logistics of the classrooms and the buildings, um, it took us a little bit longer to get ready because there was a gym class in here up until about 10 minutes ago. So thank you for being patient and waiting so quietly out there. Um, we've got a little bit of a treat for you today. It's a Halloween-based treat. Um, the Great Chews are going to perform. Our first selection is going to be under the accompaniment of Mrs. McKibben. They've been practicing a song during music class. When they're finished that song, um, we have about six poems and chants for you. And then we have two reader theaters at the end. And a reader theater is basically telling a story and acting the story out, but just with words. So there won't be any acting or movement. They're going to try to act it out with, the, with words and speaking. Um, following that, for those of you who are staying for lunch and pie, um, you may want to bring the chair that you're sitting on with you up into your son's or daughter's classroom. We don't have any extra chairs in our classrooms, and I know no one is sitting on the floor or kneeling. It's pretty hard on our knees. So if you're, if you're planning on staying, please bring your chair up. Also, we can have a couple of moms or dads volunteer to cut some pie up and not after. That would be much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed the performance. If anyone's missed it, it will be posted on our grade 2B blog, probably sometime over the weekend. So if you didn't think you got enough of it, you can always check it out there too. This is McKibben, we're going to let you get started. Oh, I heard this was poems and pie, so we prepared a poem, not a song. You won't hear any singing here.
is set up for our Readers Theatre. Um, if grade 2A can just come to your audience over here. Maybe we just back a little bit more.